What is going on all you Pokemon lovers and collectors out there? Hope you guys are having a great day. Well, here's a quick Pokemon market update. So while I was scrolling through social media today, I had a quick thought that it feels like most of the bad actors and just the people that were here for the short term are now weeded out. There's a currently very little excitement despite Paradise Dragona, I think being one of the better sets in Japanese and in English, us getting supercharger breakers being right around the corner or surging sparks. It just really feels like the true lovers, the people that are really passionate about the Pokemon TCG are the ones left. I've been doing tons of research on Reddit, social media platforms here and there and it seems like and it seems like pokemon right now is super core and i believe we can gauge that by the amount of flippers and scalpers that are still here in the space i go on offer up and facebook marketplace pretty much every day and i don't really see any flipping anymore of a Pokemon product besides Pokemon 151. And that's a whole nother video for another day. So it seems like most products are just affordable. Singles are very, very affordable. Most AR cards in Japanese are under $5, which is absolutely incredible. Kind of like what we saw in the trainer gallery era. There's also an abundance of sealed product. It seems like big box retailers have no problem filling their shelves with tons of awesome Pokemon product that has always been lacking over here where I'm at in Northern California in the United States. It, it was rough for a few years and now in the Scarlet and Violet era, it seems like there is plenty of stock to go around, which is just awesome for everybody. Not only are shelves fully supplied for big box retailers online, it is crazy. There is so many amazing products and deals that we can pick up. So I think Pokemon is in a very, very awesome place. If you're a, a true lover, a true collector here for the long haul, it just seems like everything has returned back to normal. And of course, I'm gonna get these comments saying that, that what about uh, the, the cards like the Greninja spiking up in price and market manipulation and X, Y, and Z. Yes, that's going to happen in any era, but I think Pokemon has done the best job both in English and in Japanese to mitigate all the BS that came from the Sword and Shield era. And I understand there's there was a uh, COVID and there was other um, factors that went into a couple of those hypes and booms, the waifu craze in the Japanese market. But it seems like Pokemon has done everything they could to eliminate most of the problems. Another thing that I've noticed is that Pokemon, it seems like they've really focused on players this era like it's i if you guys don't watch the pokey beach podcast i highly recommend them they're awesome i don't really care too much about the tcg but it seems like there's so many new people coming into coming back into the hobby to play the tcg and i i feel like you didn't really see too much of that in the sword and shield era at least i didn't hear too much i think it's definitely brought to the forefront now in the Scarlet and Violet era, which is awesome. The more players that come in, they're, they're also collectors, so just grows the hobby more and more. And I think the players are definitely the backbone, the core of the Pokemon community. With more Pokemon players comes more awesome products. Yes, we've seen more of these, those like collection boxes geared towards the players, which could make some collectors mad. We did get the Greninja box from Shard of Fable. That was awesome. That was definitely a, uh, a thank you from Pokemon. But yes, it's it's pretty easy to see that Pokemon is really focusing on the TCG side, which again is all positive. I was bouncing around this topic to multiple friends and another friend was saying their take, their take was that maybe Pokemon tried to weed out all the bad actors through these somewhat, I wouldn't say mid sets, but just not direct home runs. I think that Pokemon, is very calculated with what they do and what they release. They've seen the boom and craziness of, let's say, Evolving Skies. And I believe that they don't want to bring in those scalpers and those those uh, bad actors in the space once again. And they will do anything to keep those people out. I mean, they will print a set into oblivion. Like we've seen with Pokemon 151. I know right now in Japanese, they're, they're uh, uh, low on, on stock, but 
I don't think that's going to be the case for for much longer. I think Pokemon Japan is is they've showed us in the past as well with a paradigm a paradigm trigger and uh, Lost Abyss that they can pretty much print whatever they want and just drive these booster box prices into the ground, which is awesome for collectors. I really believe, and I'm a, a Pokemon investor as well. I really believe that if you're a collector and you really really care about these cards that these these reprints they don't they don't phase you this just gives you another opportunity to buy and even for investors it's just another opportunity to scoop up at a low obviously we're not going to see reprints five years down the line of you know paradigm trigger but uh you catch my drift to go back to pokemon 151 the the whole dilemma of you know uh people were saying that it needs a reprint here in the united states here in northern california I have seen these Pokemon 151 boxes, ETB boxes, UPCs. I mean, they've been on fire sale everywhere, literally everywhere. I, there's a thread on Reddit talking about like Pokemon deals. And, and the most recent one is at Dollar General, those uh, 151 poster collections for like 10 bucks. I bought mine, I bought two of them for 40 bucks, which is crazy, or whatever they were for MSRP. Um, I kind of had FOMO and I just wanted one for the, for the shelf back there. But it seems like, that Pokemon has been more than generous when it comes to the deals. And if you don't have Costco, then you have Sam's Club. Sam's Club has had some amazing ETB deals with uh, 151 and the two Pokeball tins. So we've been absolutely eating over here in uh, California. And it seems like the rest of the country is kind of in the same, same, uh, same space where there's been plenty of Pokemon 151 deals and can we see a reprint of course of course we could see another reprint and, and i think this is the sets kind of like how they are doing with crown zenith except to a much higher uh level that they are going to print and print and print this set into the ground which is great because again if you're a collector you are super stoked to pick up a lot of this product either for your you know sealed collection um and to maybe even you even can still chase a lot of these cards for a really cheap pack price and if you're an investor this is probably the best set for you to continue to dollar cost average buy a little here and there every week every month which will stack up your position for the long haul because we know that in five to ten years i mean five to seven years even that 151 is going to be a cash cow so now i'm going to ask you guys the same question has pokemon figured out a way to weed out all of the bad actors are we officially back to where pokemon should be let me know that or anything in the comment section down below and until tomorrow i will catch you guys with a fresh new video